Well, folks, it is our last full day of the cruise. Um, we are still on it tonight. We get off like first thing tomorrow morning, but this is our last full day and our first full sea day. We left Amsterdam just after midnight last night. I got a couple of uh, shots of the sail away. It all happened after I finished yesterday's video. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we sailed out of there dead on midnight. The all aboard time was 11.45 and the ship started moving dead on midnight. There is no messing about. I'm starting to understand why you get those videos of people chasing after the ship now. They have a time they're leaving they're leaving at that time, no messing. But as you can see, we are at sea. Um, it's about 12 o'clock as I'm starting this video. We've had a fairly lazy morning. Um, buffet breakfast, nowhere near as chaotic as it was earlier in the week. So I'm thinking people are kind of settled into their routines now, know where stuff is. And some of that early chaos is now gone, but we are at sea. We're sort of between Folkestone and Calais on that bit, looking at Google Maps, and there are a lot of ferries around as well. So we're definitely in that bit where the ferries are. Goodness me, do the ferries move a lot faster than our boat. In fact, there's an announcement happening. I'm just gonna go and listen to that. It's just the entertainment announcement. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I've already read the instructions. In fact, I was interested when I read the entertainment thing to see that there are three Premier League matches being shown live in the bar today, including the three o'clock kickoff that we can't watch anywhere at home. I know this is a rant that's probably not fit for a, uh, for a YouTube travel video. We'll talk about it more on stream, I'm sure. But the fact that we can't watch the 3 p.m. kickoffs in England where they're being played, but you can watch them in the middle of the sea, absolutely bonkers. Um, but yeah, plan for today. Obviously, it is just a day on the ship. Anna's got a massage book shortly, so I'm going to take her up to the spa and leave her to do massage things. Then I think I'm gonna go and maybe go and check out the casino. I've not been in that bit yet. Um, is she listening? I don't think she is. Might go and have a look at the watches. Probably not to buy a watch, but I think I've pretty much explored the entire ship at this point. Um, so we're just gonna have a relatively, uh, relatively lazy day. Um, I think there's a few shows later in the day that we wanna go and see. I might even sneak in one of these football matches that they speak so highly of. And then we need to figure out the disembarkation procedure, which we'll get into, I'm sure, a little bit later in the video, but that's gonna start later today because the bulk of our luggage, our checked luggage, has to be left outside our room tonight. And then we get it again once we're off the ship tomorrow morning. And then we have to be out of our room by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're basically gonna be in the car by nine, I guess. I don't know, I don't know how long it takes to disembark a ship, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. As with all this stuff, I did so much research before I came, but none of that prepares you for actually figuring it out and experiencing it for the first time. And I think the last big unusual thing for us is gonna be the weird way you have to give your luggage the night before. I guarantee I'm gonna give them something I need or end up leaving myself with too much to carry off myself. Almost certainly. It's actually not an unpleasantly cold day today. We're in the outside deck on our way to grab some lunch when we were out here two days ago. It was freezing cold, pouring rain. We were in our coats today. It's actually quite a lot of people sat out here, which I think does help with the smaller queues in like the buffet areas. Because for example, there's plenty of people out here having their lunch from the, uh, the pizzeria slash ice cream place, which I don't know that I've ever seen open before. I think it shuts at 6 p.m., but it's an option if there's a big queue in the buffet. I do like a pizza. Yeah, officially confirmed at this point that it was just super busy because it was the first day when we had the buffet chaos earlier in the week because we've just walked in at 12.45, so peak lunchtime, and there was no queues for the food behind us. We've been able to get whatever we wanted, which for me is a normal meal. Pie and chips. Anna has got a girl dinner concoction of various breads and cucumbers and things. I guess it's almost a sandwich, but we were then also able to just come and grab a table in the dining room, um, water dispenser. What a time to be alive. Um, and I even got myself a dessert in advance, which is a plum full, apparently, which feels like an excellent insult that I might start using. Would you be offended if I called you a plum full? just dropped Tanner off at the uh, at the spa, which is just two floors, two decks above our room. It's literally directly above, um, but dropped her off in there for her massage, 
which conveniently and entirely coincidentally is at the exact time that the football is on. I mean, sometimes, sometimes these things just happen randomly. Oh no, and then I then got back to my room and the foot was accidentally on the TV as well. And the bed's accidentally been made. I think I'm gonna accidentally lie on it and watch football. Okay. Well, it turns out the, uh, the football was very in and out on the signal and it was in 480p. So it wasn't much fun to watch. So I've come to wander around the boat. How much do you think Anna's gonna kill me if I just buy a watch while she's not looking? Do I even need, I don't even need a watch. But I'm just wandering about. Now we're at sea again, all of the duty free shops are open again. These have been closed for the last day and a half. We didn't really have a proper look on that first night. So might mooch around some of these for a bit. Maybe even head down to the casino. Although I'm almost certainly too much of a coward to actually play. I don't really understand gambling and there doesn't seem to, the only thing I can do is uh, Texas Holden. I don't think they have that going in there. Very sad. Okay, maybe I didn't get myself a watch. Maybe I didn't get Anna anything fancy from the Pandora sale that's going on, but I did get her a shark because as we know, Anna likes sharks. It was supposed to be 16 pounds with the 20% discount brings it down to 12 pounds. I don't think those percentages even work, but I wasn't gonna argue with the lady. Um, what else have we got over here? So we've got various clothing and whatnot. Probably not really my cup of tea in there, I don't think. So I think I'm gonna take my new friend, Mr. Sharky, into the casino. Change of plan, it is absolutely rammed in there. Partly because the football's on in there as well, and I guess partly because there's not a lot else to do because the weather's still not great and uh, that's where the beer is. So I guess me and Mr. Sharky are going to head back upstairs. The football picture didn't look any clearer in there on the big screens that it did on the tiny one in the room either. So if I'm going to sit and watch the football, may as well do it upstairs where I can lie down and stretch out my poorly back. But still a successful trip. Plus, the lift was here waiting for me, which is a rarity as well. Back upstairs. Look who's returned. All fit and bro not fixed and, no, and fixed, not broken. Yeah. They've fixed <laughs> your back. Yeah. Her spine is 100% healthy. Um, so we now need to head back to Amsterdam so she can walk around without having any pain. That's I'm now the one with the limp because <laughs> my back is still giving me a lot of trouble. She came back, knocked on the door and I was there on the bed. I can't get up, I need to twist around and yeah. And my hands were oily. They did all my arms <laughs> and my hands and I couldn't get caught. You were gone two hours. What's that long was? Two hours of being rubbed. But it was worth it, was it? Yeah, I don't feel any pain right now. Excellent. Does that mean you don't need to nap so we can go and wander around the ship? I don't really. Where do we need to go? Well, we could just go and have a wander around. You've not, there's parts of it you haven't explored. They've got the Pandora thing on this afternoon no. where, they're, um, where they're doing basically half price Pandora stuff. It's a build your own bracelet thing, but, but it's, it's with a 20% discount. Plus you get the duty free on it as well. So it works out at almost half price and you do need a new Pandora bracelet. You can go and have a look. Um, and see what's going on there. Oh, you could buy me a watch. But yeah, the uh, the the massage was expensive. It was expensive, but uh, I got robbed. yeah, seems they to have used, fixed her. They used stones, hot towels. At one point, I did want to like move because she put a, a hot stone on my lower back, and you know where my triangle is. Didn't like it. It was fine <laughs> after a while, but at first. Screaming. What we've learned though is on future cruises, because I think, again, we've pretty much decided there'll be future cruises. Um, <laughs> was that a look of shock there? No, no. No. Um, we need to do the massage early on, on the trip, before you have to go out on any excursions, because yesterday was a little bit of a struggle. It was. But uh, she's fixed now, so she'll be all fighting fit <laughs> to carry know. luggage off the ship tomorrow, which I guess I is good. About a week and then I'll be like, uh, well, then we'll have to come on another she cruise. Was like, You've got very flat feet. I'm like, yes, I know. And then she tried to uh, go, let's go to the good feet people. I was like, okay, she's like, you'll get a free five minute consultation. I was like, okay. And then I was looking, watching it on the thing, and I was like, it's insoles. 
I have in souls for me. <laughs> I don't need more. Uh, I see. More souls, so. Did you get a look at the gym while you were up there? Yes. Is it good? It's empty. Better or worse than the one at the hotel we stayed at the other day? Yes, we walked through the gym and went into the pool. You were there. Oh, it was a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so not a massive gym. Because I haven't no, been through to the but gym. But there is a nice pool up there for adults only. Should we go swimming? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Well, I guess you go in it and swim. You, I don't know how, if it's like a spa there. I'm going to swim now. Well, as part of the checkout routine, we have got our big suitcases ready to leave out here in the corridor and see if anyone's actually already done it yet. Okay, there are a few in each direction. So I don't feel quite so weird about doing it, but um, it's nearly half past six. We're gonna go down and have dinner in a second. So uh, we've got to have the bulk of our luggage outside of our room by eight. So we probably won't be up here by eight. So we'll leave these out there, go down to dinner. I have no idea where in amongst all that I've packed a collared shirt so I'm hoping we're going to be allowed to go into one of the uh, table service restaurants with me wearing a t-shirt. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I'll stick, stick my leather jacket over the top to smarten it up a bit and I've seen people in there in t-shirts it should be fine but we're going to go and do that and hopefully meet you there. So there we go these are our dinner options for this evening. All looks pretty good. In fact, the chef's recommendation looks pretty good. But I think we might be going for Haddock. There we go then, fish and chips for me. Cow and chips for Anna. <laughs> well, we just spent a uh, post-dinner hour or so in the casino where I did get told off for filming, so wasn't able to film any of it, but uh, yeah. I managed to lose a little bit of money playing blackjack, which, but I lost enough to earn me bonus money, which I then put on roulette, because I don't really understand roulette. For the second time in my life, I just put it all on green. It came up, we come out, slight profit on the casino. I am now a professional gambler. We are now looking for a particular beverage that Anna has been looking for, which I don't think it's in the buffet. I think we go to this bar. Don't we? I don't want to sit out in the hall. No, but we can sit somewhere else. There's a there's a drink that doesn't seem to be available, but is always mentioned on the menu in the buffet. So we've come up here to try and find what bar that drink comes from. Yeah, but the buffet is closed, which is rare. We are back in the cabin, or more specifically on the balcony. Um, it is 20 past nine ship time, but that, or that, it's Hastings, basically we're scooting along the south coast of England now and there it's only quarter past eight. So uh, the ship time doesn't officially change until 2 a.m. But that's good because we've got to be out of our cabin by eight. But based on time now for us, that's basically nine. Um, our watches and phones and everything switched back to UK time as soon as we got near the UK coast. Despite the fact we've got airplane mode on, I guess GPS was enough. I don't really understand how that works, but um, I think we're just going to chill out for the rest of the evening now. We've done our we've done our little bit of gambling. We don't like the look of tonight's show. Do we remember what tonight's show is? So it's, uh, it's some kind of singing thing, but it's not. Yeah, it's like Ibiza classics or something. So don't think we're going to go down and see the show. We've had our fill of gambling. Um, that would do us for a little while. We have just been sat over a cup of coffee discussing our next cruise. So I think we've officially got the bug and we are going to be looking to do something else soon. We've got some non-cruise travel coming up first. We've got a trip to Rome, a trip to Edinburgh. Um, we've got a Lanzarote trip booked. I need to go to Dortmund in Germany as well. So there's quite a lot of travel we need to get done over the next couple of months. So there'll be plenty of vlogs. Uh, but once we get through this little mad end of the football season spell of traveling all the time, I think we're probably going to try and get an early summer cruise in and maybe go a little bit longer, a little bit warmer, uh, maybe a slightly bigger, slightly newer ship. Uh, there's a lot that we would do differently next time. I think we're going to do a video with our like tips for first time cruisers based on some of the mistakes that we've made on this one, not least of which is the fact that our luggage is now gone and we have still got quite a lot of stuff in this room. What? They're trousers, you wear leggings all the time. <laughs> we have quite a lot of our stuff still in our room, so we're gonna be carrying quite a lot off the ship, which is uh, 
a mistake, for sure. Um, but I think, I think we'll probably keep the video going rather than doing a separate last day video. Cause like I can say, we're gonna be off the ship at like eight in the morning. So I guess the final part of this video will be that disembarkation process tomorrow rather than doing it as a whole separate video. So time jump to that, unless something significant happens for the rest of the, the day. But I can tell you all that's gonna happen is I'm gonna lie on that bed, read my book, and I was gonna watch TikToks around midnight. I'm gonna go and have my Horlicks. Then we're gonna go to sleep and we'll see you in the morning. And it is now the next morning. And as you can see, we are back in Southampton. It's quarter past seven in the morning. Everybody has to be out of their cabins by 8 a.m. And then you get a designated slot to go to a certain room on the ship and you then get led off in your time slot. So our time slot, I think we've lucked out here because our time slot is 8 a.m. In, uh, in one of the bars downstairs. So we literally will get to, I guess, a few minutes before eight, leave our room so we can stay in our room right up until the point where we have to go to our disembarkation place and then just head down to that room. And I think we then just get taken off the ship, collect our luggage from the terminal and find a taxi to get us back to the hotel where we've left our car. Uh, having heard a few other people talking at supper last night, um, there are people who've got slots as late as like 9.30. So they've got to get out of their cabin at eight still, but then have to kind of mill around the ship and can't leave the ship until their slot. Breakfast is served this morning, but apparently only served until 8.30. We're not bothering with breakfast because the idea of going there and then rushing back to our room or taking our bags there and everyone on the ship, there's like 3,000 people on this ship. So if everybody has got to try and get their breakfast done by 8.30, um, it just feels like it would be a nightmare. So we're just going to hang around in our room until just before eight. Hope we can then get a lift. The lifts are right outside our door. So we'll be able to see. In fact, we can see now what the queues for lifts are like. They're probably non-existent at the moment because there's not really anywhere for anybody to go currently. Can't get out the door. They've locked us in. Yeah, so there's nobody queuing for the lifts at the moment. But when the time comes, those lifts take us down seven decks to where our disembarkation point is basically directly below us. And, uh, and then we're off, fingers crossed. There was also an option if we wanted to just carry all of our baggage and not have it collected last night and taken to the terminal, we could have just walked off the ship anytime from 7 a.m. to 7.45. We don't like the idea of carrying all of our stuff. So this way, much better. The ship itself, by the way, when we woke up, our alarm went off at six this morning. The ship was still kind of out by the Isle of Wight. So I guess they had to wait for their specific slot to get in here. We didn't actually pull into this parking space until just before 7 a.m. So clearly the process of getting the ship ready to have the door opened is much quicker than on a plane because if they got in at seven then people could leave at seven i mean we saw it when we left amsterdam the all aboard time was just a couple of minutes before we left so clearly it's pretty quick to get in and out of the dock once the time comes but i think the plan for this ship they then turn it over really really quickly and then this ship is heading to the caribbean later today so four or five o'clock ish today um, it embarks on what I think is a 35 night cruise um, where it goes across to the Caribbean, to the US, I guess, relocating over to the other side of the world for the next chunk of its, uh, of its season. So it's the last one that this has done in Europe for a little while. But we'll see you when we're off the, off the boat and we'll let you know how easy that process was. Fingers crossed. It's going to be as straightforward as we've been led to believe. And we are back at the Novotel, where we were at the start of the trip. Um, that's actually a remarkably smooth process, both boarding a few days ago and then disembarking. Now, compared to, be, compared to flying, it's so quick and easy. We were down in our meeting place at 8 a.m. and we are now back at the car at 8.41, having already packed it up. So we were actually back here at about 8.35. Um, you literally get to your, your disembarkation point at the right time. They then lead you off. There's a little bit of a queue to get off. You have to scan your um, cruise card one more time to actually get off the ship. No passport checks, no customs, nothing like that getting off. I mean, the only time our passports have been looked at was boarding the ship 
back at the start of the week. We didn't have to show them to get into the Netherlands or to get back onto the ship. They've not been stamped. I don't really understand how that works, but it was so quick and easy. And then we just walked off the ship into this big hall that had the luggage in. The luggage was all separated according to what deck you were on. Ours is very brightly colored, so very easy to find. And then we walked out the front and there's a queue of taxis waiting and no queue of people. So really, really easy. Um, I think we're going to wrap this video up there because we're literally just going to drive home now. There is going to be one more video in this cruise series where we give you our thoughts on cruising as a whole, things we'd do differently next time, all that kind of thing. But I think this video is probably already long enough and Anna is desperate for a beverage. So I'm going to get her somewhere where we can get her a drink. So if you have enjoyed this video or this cruise series as a whole, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for lots more stuff like this and lots more travel content still to come in the coming weeks and months as well. And thank you very much for watching.